Farm Rescue is back in the field, seeding fields of dreams and planting rows of hope. Good evening, I'm Lauren Carter. And I'm Tom Gerhardt. Thanks for joining us here tonight on KX News. A recent cancer diagnosis brings the nonprofit organization northeast of Lair, North Dakota. Ag reporter Sarah Gustin brings you the touching story. It really helped me out in a pinch here. Round after round, the routine is the same. But every trip to the field Farm Rescue makes brings a new story. What Farm Rescue can do with this 42-foot drill in a mere eight hours would take Lair farmer Ron Enzi days. Precious hours and minutes he doesn't have to spare. I can spend a little more time with her. And, mm -hmm. you know, she's yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have any strength or any stamina. I sleep almost all the time. He needs to come in and check to make sure that I remember to take a pill and that I yeah. eat when I'm supposed to. I, I don't have any appetite, so he has to force me to eat. Cheer on. His labors in the field are now a different labor of love, doing the laundry, balancing the checkbook, and washing the dishes. April 1st, we received the diagnosis that it was pancreatic cancer. Um, we don't know yet at this point if it's... Oh. <laughs> it's going to be up. Each week brings a trip to Wishick for blood work, followed by a trip to Fargo for chemo. After we do six weeks of chemotherapy, then we'll go back to Rochester. They'll run the tests again, and they will determine whether or not there's anything they can do for us. So at this point, we don't know. For Ron and Linda, what tomorrow will bring remains unknown. But for the crew and their drill, after the final round here, it's off to zap. It makes me feel good inside to be able to go help somebody. East of Lair for KX News, I'm Sarah Gustin. The Spring Farm Rescue plans to seed around 10,000 acres for more than 20 families.